everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, today I will be testing out the DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Pewter. I did a piece yesterday and uh, the pewter just took over. And I mean, it took over. I'll show it to you later in the video. So today, I'm going to try this again, but with a bit less of the pewter so I don't wind up with three quarters of a painting of pewter cells. Pretty as it is, kind of doesn't hold my interest. So, paints today. We have, yeah, I have titanium white. And then I have uh, titanium white mixed with Payne's Gray. There is Prussian Blue, to which I have added just a few drops of white to brighten it up a little bit because it is quite dark. And I have Liquitex Basics and Magenta, which I've added just a drop of the Prussian blue, just to bring the pink down a hair. And then of course, the deco art and pewter. These paints are mixed, one part paint to two parts Floetrol, and then thinned with my mixture of 90% water, 10% Floetrol. So my consistency is pretty thin here. It's actually a bit thicker than usual, but I think we'll be okay because this pewter is no joke. Man does it want to sell. All right, my base coat is down and now I'm going to put some paint in a cup. I'm actually gonna do the white first. I want the center to be white. Usually I make the very center the same color as the background, but going for something a bit different this time. So white and then gray. Blue. Magenta. and pewter, which I'm going to pour from up high because I really want it to sink. All right. My blue seems to be on top here, so we're gonna see what happens. Let's make a mess, shall we? Alrighty, this is looking better than what happened yesterday so far. We'll see what happens. I'm just popping bubbles here. All right. 
let's stretch this baby out. Whoa, is that a bubble or is that schmutz? A bubble. I didn't do the corner catcher there, so I lost some of the cells, but I am not concerned <laughs> that there won't be more popping up. Bring your paint back to center before you change directions, always. The more I stretch, the more cells should pop up. There appears to be some resistance here. Come on. Don't want to drop that blue off, but I need to be able to stretch this or I'm going to just have this sea of white. Okay, I'm gonna leave this alone. Hopefully I've stretched that enough to get that pewter to pop up from underneath of the white, at least some of it. I do very much like these colors together. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and we're gonna see what happens. I definitely think that uh, we'll see some filling in of the pewter cells. Hopefully blend it with that magenta, which is what I was hoping for. It's what's happening over here. We shall see. All right, back in a few. Okay, here it is. I don't think it's gonna change any more than it has. So I will be having that sea of white my gray completely disappeared this time. 
I love this area. I love the magenta mixing with that pewter. And some of that Prussian blue made a beautiful purple. I'm gonna have some fun with these colors. I definitely want to probably do some other technique with these colors because they are so pretty together. But you can see it sparkle. I am much happier with this piece than the one from yesterday. Here is the piece from yesterday. As you can see, it has been a complete takeover of the pewter cells. My magenta is pretty much gone. And that was what we were left with. Not quite as interesting to my eye. Yes, this is much better. I love this area. I love these colors together. That just came out so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. But there it is. So I did not get those fractal cells. I guess the pewter just doesn't do that. And magenta is difficult, apparently, to keep that up top. at least with this combination. So there it is. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined and would like to help this channel stay afloat. Keep me stocked up in supplies to keep bringing you the groovy, fresh content. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, also in the description box is the link to the Amazon store. Most of the items that I use are available in the Amazon store. However, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. It's pennies, but when you have 100,000 subscribers, thank you for that. Pennies add up and make dollars. And it is greatly appreciated. Also in the description box is the link to my website, ginadeluca.net. That is where you can find my music and my art for sale. And my brand new CD, Better Than Chocolate. You can also find the link to the video, the music video for Better Than Chocolate in the description box. And probably also popping up at the end of this video in the end screen. Last, but certainly not least, join our Facebook group. Go make some art, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, Get some inspiration. And I think that's it. All right, you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.